if you've ever been in the position where you've got two or more pages on search engines competing against each other, or you face dreaded keyword cannibalization, then this video is for you because I'm gonna tell you how to identify if you've got keyword cannibalization and how to fix it. First, I'm just gonna explain what exactly keyword cannibalization is. So keyword cannibalization is where two or more pages rank for the same search term on Google. And when Google goes through and looks at your website, it struggles to know which page on your website it should rank higher for that keyword, which often means they compete against each other and you're actually less likely to rank higher up for that search term. So keyword cannibalization is bad and it might be the reason why you're actually ranking lower than you thought you were. So I would definitely take the time to spare five minutes, watch this video and make sure you're not shooting yourself in the foot. Now SEO space actually tells you whether you've got a risk of cannibalization. I have this in my homepage. I've used SEO space to optimize it for Squarespace SEO plugin, but I've actually got a Squarespace SEO plugin page. So if I did try and optimize this page with Squarespace SEO plugin, it would 100% compete here. And that's because SEO space has identified that this keyword is found either in the URL, H1, or SEO title of another page on the website. Now that is only identifying that there's a risk of keyword cannibalization, as you can see here, risk. I'm now gonna show you how we can actually find out whether you have keyword cannibalization happening in the real world. And what I want you to do is head over to Google Search Console. I want you to head over to search results. Then you're going to click here, go to query, and I want you to type in the keyword that you think you've got keyword cannibalization for. And I'm gonna type in Squarespace SEO. And the reason I'm gonna type in Squarespace SEO because I've got pages on my website for Squarespace SEO experts. Squarespace SEO plugin, Squarespace SEO tips, Squarespace SEO checklists. I've got so many pages about Squarespace SEO. So I personally know that I do have cannibalizations for this keyword. So this is a fantastic example. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find Squarespace SEO and click on it. And what this has done is filtered my Google Search Console search results. And it's showing me all of the clicks and impressions that I've got for the keyword Squarespace SEO and if I scroll down and select pages, this is going to show me all the pages on my website that get clicks and impressions for my filtered keyword, i.e. you're going to be able to see the pages that you get in cannibalization for, for a select keyword. And when I scroll down, you can see that I've got a various number of pages that are getting hundreds of impressions and even a few clicks for the keyword Squarespace SEO. And what's super interesting, you can see that this page has got a low number of impressions, but the highest number of clicks for this search term. So this is a perfect example of what you're gonna see when you've got keyword cannibalization. Two or more pages that are getting a lot of impressions for one keyword. And now what you actually want to do when it comes to removing keyword cannibalization and stopping yourself from shooting yourself in the foot, it actually comes down to three steps. First of all, you want to identify the page on your website that you want to rank for that keyword. So for me, I would have to identify the page on my site that I actually want to rank for Squarespace SEO. And that would be quite difficult in my case because as I said, I've got quite a few Squarespace SEO tips, checklists, plugin, I've got so many different pages. And to be honest, I probably wouldn't actually try and focus for this keyword because it actually would be probably be too difficult for me. But for you, you should be able to do it completely fine. So first, select the page that you want to rank for your chosen keyword. Then what I want you to do is de-optimize the other pages for that keyword. And that means ideally removing it from the URL, removing it from the H1, removing it from the SEO title, and maybe even changing the words that you use for that phrase in the content of your website. So maybe for me, if I was doing Squarespace SEO, instead of Squarespace SEO in the content, I'd maybe change it to Squarespace search engine optimization or some other thing probably less related to Squarespace SEO. I'd remove Squarespace SEO from the URLs, from the headings, et cetera, et cetera, if I really wanted to boost this page, for example, up the rankings. So de-optimize the other pages for your selected search terms and maybe even optimize the page that you want to rank higher. And then finally, what I want you to do is add internal links from those pages through to the page that you want to rank 
So what that's going to do, Google's going to go through these pages. It's going to see that these are no longer optimized for your selected keyword. And it's going to see that there's links going from those pages through to the main page that you want to rank. And if you can make the actual links text, i.e. the anchor text that links from one page to the other, the keyword that you want to rank for, that is going to show to Google the page hierarchy on your website. And it's going to all point towards the page that you actually want to rank for that search term. So just to recap, select the page that you want to optimize for the term that you've got keyword cannibalization for. Then I want you to de-optimize the other pages. And then third and finally, I want you to internally link from those pages back to the page that you want to rank. And of course, once you've done that, you can come back to your search console and see if you're still getting cannibalization. You can go back to SEO space and run the scan and essentially put your website to the test to see if you've actually avoided keyword cannibalization, which I definitely recommend because you don't want to be shooting yourself in the foot. And if you found this video useful and you want to learn more SEO tips, then make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel because I post Squarespace SEO tips every single week as I grow SEO space, the SEO plugin with Squarespace. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.